Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And today is the box office aftermath for Rambo Last Blood. That's right. Sly Stallone's fifth entry into the franchise. And one that I think a lot of people out there are having some very interesting and some very contentious debates over because the movie itself didn't do as well as I thought it would. Only coming in here at number three underneath Downton Abbey number one, and then Ad Astro. I, I kind of thought uh, Rambo would do a bit more, simply the fact that it's it's Rambo. But unfortunately, it didn't. However, still making it uh, uh, but just a little bit under Ad Astro is not too terrible. So jumping over here to boxofficemojo.com, we can see that the movie itself had a uh, had an opening weekend of uh, 19 million, 15,000. Uh, not too shabby. Again, Ad Astro, only a little bit bigger than that. And it had a budget of 50 million dollars so that's uh that's not so bad that's not so bad it should definitely be able to make its money back considering the fact that 50 million is a low enough budget and uh, once this thing opens up overseas as we can see here there's no international release just yet then i have a feeling this one should probably pick up a lot of steam as time goes on this was just a very packed weekend so jumping over here to the cinema score we can see the audiences gave it a b not too shabby uh, I would have thought at least a B plus, but a B is definitely serviceable and that is okay. Metacritic on the other hand, uh, not, not as good, uh, saying here that it looks like regular folk are liking Rambo last blood a lot more than the professional critics are showing a meta score of 29 with 14 negative reviews and a user score of 8.6 with 93 positive. So it does look like regular folk. The salt of the earth folk are are out there very much enjoying Rambo Last Blood. So that's definitely something. But let's take a look here at the uh, Rotten Tomato score. Again, 29% and an 84% for audiences. And again, that's very on par with Metacritic. Very on par with Metacritic. So that's pretty good. Uh, at least if you happen to be interested in that. So what are the critics saying? That's always a question, right? What are the critics saying here? And uh, they weren't good. Uh, these are all the top ones I pulled. Uh, Charlotte O'Sullivan from the London Evening Standard with a two out of five rating says, come the apocalypse, Rambo will almost certainly be spilling blood. The war inside never ends and neither does this bloody franchise. Clearly not a huge fan of, of Rambo. Uh, Matthew Rosa here from Salon.com says it is less an escapist action movie and more of a dramatized manifestation of the most notorious sentences from Donald Trump's presidential campaign announcement speech. Again, why do you get a turn political? A lot of people out there aren't saying that. For some reason, the critics, though, are very much trying to make it political, very much like the Joker, actually. And Kevin Meyer here, uh, with a one out of five star from the Times UK, says he has destroyed an entire battalion of Vietnamese troops. He defeated the Russians in Afghanistan, and he decimated the Burmese military machine. Now the iconic super soldier John Rambo faces his greatest enemy yet, audience apathy. And I, I, think, that, um, I think that only really applies if you happen to not be a fan of the previous films, if you enjoyed watching him destroy an entire battalion of Vietnamese troops, defeating the Russians in Afghanistan, or completely mowing down the Burmese military with a with a, with a vehicle mounted 50 caliber machine gun in glorious, glorious destruction, uh, you will probably enjoy this movie. But this one right here, this 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 clip, this is a segment. I, I forget who wrote it, but this is from an actual review saying this massively enlarged prostate of a film can only make you wince at with his badly acted uh, Geronto ultraviolence. It's trumping in fantasies of Mexican rapists and hilariously insecure U.S. border, and it's crass enthusiasm for rape revenge attacks undertaken by a still got it senior dude, 73 years young, on behalf of a teenager, uh, uh, and then um, or, or on behalf of a sweet teenager, the film was co-written by Stallone. So, I mean, this is just like a snippet really going to show you where that 29% from the critics are coming from, right? That 29%. It's not just him. Even uh, Grace Randolph here uh, didn't like it, says it's racist and misogynistic. Stallone seems to be devolving as a filmmaker and an actor. And I find it kind of funny that Grace makes this comment about being misogynistic, considering that she suggested that when Kelly Marie Tran left um, social media because of harassment after The Last Jedi, that it was her own fault. So uh, hot take by Grace Good, good hot take by Grace there, but not everyone hated it. Not everyone hated it. Here we've got Rob Liefeld uh, says Rambo Last Blood enjoyed it. Audience clapped at the end. Huge rush of applause. Cloud crowd pleaser, which uh, if you want to take his particular 
take on anything. I mean, he he blocked me on Twitter when I said that the last Jedi was bunk. That's I, I don't know why, but he did. Grace also has me blocked on Twitter. Still haven't been able to figure out why, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll go with this whatever. Anyway, uh, this guy here by the name of Buttman says Rambo Last Blood was terrific, and it was not just mindless violence. It was emotional and nostalgic as well. The only way today's critics would like would like it uh, would be if he was gently stroking the bad guy's chins, or he was brutally killing only white Trump supporters. Now, again, I would argue against the politics being brought into this, but to be fair, Buttman's kind of got a bit, bit of a point here. Uh, a lot of the critics are trying to call this very politically motivated and so on and so forth. So you can kind of understand uh, why the other viewers would respond in kind. Anyway, uh, Brian Crawlins here says there's a part in Last Blood where Rambo literally blows a dude's effing head off and then shoots him in the chest to five stars. So clearly, clearly he's made some made some fans there. And this one, <laughs> this one's fascinating. This is coming from Bernard B. Carrick. It says here, Mr. President at Donald Trump, with the release this Friday of Rambo Last Blood, I believe it's time for Rambo, Rocky, Sylvester Stallone to be considered for the Presidential Medal of Freedom, an American icon who achieved the American dream. Now, obviously, he is referring to, to Sylvester Stallone, but he's, he's, he's propping up Rambo, who has gone and just murdered people across the board from a different, you know, and, and you know, after being attacked and whatnot. But this guy was the 40th police commissioner of, of the NYPD, the 40th police commissioner of the NYPD. So I had to kind of laugh when I saw this one, because to me, that's like, <laughs> dude, you're a cop and you're out there promoting violence. Uh, funny, funny, very, very funny. Anyway, so this is the box office aftermath for Rambo Last Blood. I have not seen it yet. It is on my list of things to see this week. If you have seen it and you like it or you don't like it, whether you think it's an excellent Ashland film full of nostalgia and emotion or it's an apathetic jingoistic assault on our border at the South, I want to know your thoughts or your opinions. What do you agree with? What do you don't agree with? Let me know down in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.